this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to do a quick flip through of Editor in Chief. This is beginning level two um, from the Critical Thinking Company. This one is for grades three to four. We did beginning level one last year at the end of our third grade, um, and we are starting fourth grade, so we're on beginning two. It's a little bit thicker. Um, I like these. Uh, we really enjoyed it last year. thought it was very helpful. And um, they have beginning levels one and two, and then level one, two, and three. So we are on beginning two. Um, there's a section at the beginning to the teacher. So how do you use this book? And then there's a table of contents, which is going to talk about what is covered. So it covers capitalization, punctuation, spelling, articles, nouns, pronouns, singular and plural, verb tenses, subject verb agreement, type of verbs, adjectives, adverbs, can't read backwards, um, contractions, cute, confused word pairs, dialogue rules, run on sentences, sentence fragments, homophones, and then friendly letters. And then throughout there are many reviews and reviews, and then there's a final review at the very end. So the way that it works is there will be a lesson and it'll go through what the rules are, what you need to, in this case, capitalize, and it'll give you the rule and it'll provide you with some examples. These lesson pages usually are about two pages long, so finish up over here, and then it gives you paragraphs to practice. So this is a paragraph that only has capitalization errors and it tells you how many errors there are to the side. Um, and so you work through the paragraph and you mark your capitalization errors. And usually there are six paragraphs for each lesson. So these are all capitalization there. Um, the paragraphs are nice. They are... Um, some of them are factual, so they're interesting. They have some cool information in it. Um, some of them are more fiction or they're in the style of a letter. So it just exposes learners to a different, um, reading different types of writing. And then you move on to the next lesson. And so here's a lesson on punctuation and it's two pages. And then we start on the paragraphs and there are six paragraphs. And then it moves on to lesson three. Spelling rules, two pages of the lesson, and then moving on to paragraphs. And then there was a mini review, which had two paragraphs. And in this, you will see the um, different errors that are in each one. So your learner knows that they're looking for more than just one thing. And again, they can still count how many so that they can check themselves, but there is an answer key in the back. Um, so then it goes on to some more lessons. So you guys can see here, singular and plural nouns was only one page, but then there's six paragraphs. Then there's another mini review. My kid likes to write all over these um, and change the names of the reviews. But then there's a mini review again over the last three lessons and there were two paragraphs. Then there's a review over the previous six lessons. And that one has four paragraphs of the review. And then it starts a new lesson and that continues. We've got subject verb agreement. Moving on to some that we haven't gotten to, so types of verbs. And then there you can see the paragraphs and the bubbles. And so in this case, we're talking types of verbs. So they have action verbs and they have state of being verbs. Um, and there would be errors. So you'd need to correct the errors in the paragraph, but then you mark off which ones you're correcting so that you know whether or not you got them all. Then after lesson nine, there would be another mini review. So the mini reviews are every three lessons. Um, then there's a review here over lessons one through nine. So then again, you're going to have probably one error of each. 
um, but you're going to have all the different types. So they have to start looking for more than one type. And it just slowly builds onto that. It's the same pattern, the same routine. It'll introduce one thing. You'll practice that one. Um, you'll move on to another lesson. Um, okay, so this is new. We haven't gotten here yet. So this has rewriting the sentences. Um, and then here... Uh, we're talking about contractions. And then there's another mini review. So, so far that, um, that one with the writing, the sentences, that's the only time I've seen a writing. Everything else has been corrections and marking off. Then we have a review for the last six, seven through 12. And there are four there, et cetera, et cetera. And then here's another mini review, 13 to 15. And probably after lesson 18 is when it's going to be the, um, yeah. So there's a mini review from 16 to 18. Then there's a review of lessons 13 to 18. So there'll be lessons one through six, lessons seven through 12, lessons 13 through 18. Then you're going to have a review that's lessons 10 through 18. So we're starting to combine more and more. And then a final review that includes all um, or could possibly include all of them. Obviously not 18 different errors are in each one. Um, it looks like eight, maybe 10 over here, nine or 10. And then after that final review, which is four paragraphs, then it goes into the answers and it'll show you where the errors are in the paragraph and how they are labeled. So that if you're not sure, which sometimes I'm like, I don't know what the error is. And I go and look, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. But I had to check the back of the book. So lots of detailed answers there so that you can provide correct feedback, or if your learner um, can use this appropriately, they could check their own work as well. And that is it. So it's a total of 139 paragraphs that they would practice. So anyway, this is a flip through of Editor-in-Chief Beginning 2. Um, it's for grades three to four and we are doing it fourth grade and I would say it's right about on level and we might move on to the next one before uh, the end of fourth grade, but we have some other stuff that we're working through too, so we might not. Um, let me know if you've used this or any other um, similar editing style to teach your grammar and uh, let me know how it's going. Thanks.